Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a North Star Iron Bull 14 foot, 14,000 pound bumper pull dump trailer. I'm going to take you around the trailer, show you some of the standard features as well as the options shown on this particular model. We're going to start out up front. You've got an adjustable cast coupler, it's a six hole coupler. Again, it is the cast design, a little bit heavier rated than the uh, stamp style. It's got a sealed wire harness, setback 7K drop leg jack. Notice up front they put a spot for your plug to get down in the A-frame. Also put a nice spot for your chain holders. For those not familiar with the drop leg jack, you've got a inner foot that will drop out by pulling the pin. And then your, uh, your other sleeves adjustable via the handle. So you got a lot of height adjustment on this particular style. No need to carry around a wooden block. It's a lot different toolbox, toolbox latch handle than you see on most dumps. It's a T-handle. It's a lot, uh, lot nicer style design. It is a lockable setup. So in the toolbox, a couple things that we like about this particular unit. It's got an interstate deep cycle marine battery. It's got a power up, power down hydraulic pump. It's got a built-in 110 volt charger. Also something they do a little bit different to most manufacturers. We got power up, power down. But then you can also notice that it's got a voltage indicator built into the remote. This is ideal because in a power up, power down uh, trailer, if your battery's dead, it won't tell you. And it will come down, but it's going to lose all the hydraulics or all the hydraulic fluid into your toolbox. With the, uh, with the uh, battery indicator on the remote, uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, tell you when you need to charge your battery so you don't lose all your hydraulic fluid. So also shown on this particular dump is a tarp kit. They do a nice spring latch handle. Notice the tarp is all protected. Also comes with the anti-sail bar. For those not familiar, an anti-sail bar, you would take the bar, walk it back. One nice part, it keeps your uh, tarp material nice and straight so it's not falling up. And then at the back of the dump, this is retained into your uh, C-clamp. So you'd simply walk it back here, crank it tight, and then uh, you can also get away with having a few less bungee cords. Generally, you can do about two or maybe three per side on a trailer like this. Okay, also standard is a six inch, 12 foot pound I-beam mainframe. You'll notice the tongue wraps back the side of the trailer toward your spring hangers. They put a gusset going back the side and then again uh, by your spring hangers. This is not a unibody frame as you see in a lot of your I-beam frame dump trailers. Notice this has a separate tongue and a mainframe. So it's a little bit heavier duty than, than some. We've also got uh, some built-in tie downs. Uh, some would call those a banjo eye. They're built into your uh, corner post. We've also got stake pockets going down the sides of the trailer if you want to do a sidewall extension. Notice they're also uh, drilled out in case you want to uh, bolt them in place and make them semi-permanent. Iron Bull uses a 10 gauge floor. They also have a 10 gauge sidewall. They uh, put that integrated body stiffener into the side. Helps give a uh, lot less deflection to the trailer. Makes for a very stiff sidewall. Notice they use a double broke tread plate fender. They also have an integrated side step. Gives you a nice step up into the dump trailer. Do a 10 ply radial tire, 235-80R16 standard equipment. Dexter axles, 7,000 pound axles. Brakes on both axles. Notice they've also got easy loop hubs. Fairly simple for an average homeowner. Go ahead and peel the black cap out, and all you need is a standard grease gun. Uh, Iron Bulls are used, used a little bit heavier studs than some. These are going to be a 9 16th inch stud with a 7 8 inch nut, as opposed to the industry standard half inch. Slipper spring suspension is standard equipment. Uh, slipper spring is going to be a little bit heavier duty than your eye to eye that you would sometimes see. Notice going down the sides of the trailer, they put a J hook. Uh, that's to retain your bungee if you want to uh, strap down a, a tarp kit with a bungee cord or a one inch tie strap. Moving on back to the trailer, uh, you've got your built in uh, stabilizer jacks. These are not standard equipment, but we have option them into this unit. To deploy these, you would simply pull your pin, set it where uh, at the position you would like. Now, you got two types of uh, jacks available. For the rear, you can do a swivel jack or the tube style. We prefer the tube style as they tend to uh, be a lot heavier duty. They have a little bit less adjustment 
but uh, even still, you've got about one, one and a half inch increments. Uh, once your trailer compresses a small amount, they're gonna catch and be a lot stronger than a swivel style jack. Again, you got your banjo eyes back at the corner. Uh, Iron Bull at the rear of the trailer does a real slick uh, auto latching system that auto latches once the trailer door is swung open. Kind of neat idea. Also do the integrated body stiffener into the rear door. So you got a very heavy door. Also, instead of being a one and a half inch thick uh, top, this is a thicker two and a half inch uh, rear door, very heavy duty. Ramps on this unit are under mount, so they store underneath. And then uh, they've got the rear retainer that is going to retain your trailer uh, ramp whenever you go ahead and put it up. So again, it is a, a 10 gauge floor. It's a two piece bed floor combo. So you notice from the center of the floor to the top of the sidewall, it's all made out of one piece of 10 gauge steel. A lot of times in the industry, you're gonna see either a one, two or three piece floor, and then you're gonna have a separate sidewall. Uh, you're going to end up with at least four or five pieces. The beauty of this system is you've only got one seam going right down the center of the floor. That's the only seam on the trailer. The trailer is powder coated. It's got Sherwin-Williams powder coat. Also standard equipment on this particular trailer would be a scissor hoist. It's a 516 scissor hoist. Uh, we've tested this out numerous times. Uh, generally these hoists are able to haul, or I should say lift, about two tons, roughly more than the legal payload of the trailer. Speaking of legal payload, trailer weighs about 4,000 pounds empty, 14,000 GVW. It's gonna give you a five ton uh, capacity plus your tongue weight. Tongue weight's gonna be another approximate ton, so you're about six tons total payload. Uh, again, this hoist we've had at Quarry's, generally you're good for about 7.9 ton. That will certainly depend on how you load the trailer. So a couple other things I'm gonna show you that Iron Bull does a lot different than the industry. They are the first and to the best of my knowledge only manufacturer. Uh, they develop this um, uh, integrated cross member body stiffener system into the floor of the trailer. So instead of having your uh, traditional uh, perpendicular cross members running that way, they've got integrated stiffeners that are a, a pretty neat idea. Basically your stiffener is a uh, a pretty thick uh, piece, I want to say about quarter inch, quarter inch steel on your floor. That would be where your ramps, of course, would slide in. In fact, you can see your ramps. Uh, gives a lot of strength to the subfloor. Gives you an integrated ramp carrier. Also ties in, of course, to your scissor hoist. You can see that ties into those as well. And then, of course, they do have some stiffeners running between the floor stiffeners and out to the side rail. Very slick idea. Again, they are the only one I know of in the industry doing something like this. The scissor hoist, something else we see, uh, it's made out of a, a heavy wall, uh, large diameter box tube on the scissor. A lot of manufacturers on scissor, we see channel, sometimes occasionally angle. Uh, this is a pretty heavy duty scissor hoist. You also got a number of different cross members underneath the trailer. Uh, where your tongue comes back, uh, you got it bulkheaded off there. And then of course where your scissor mounts, uh, you've got a double channel bulkhead there as well. Again, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers, showing you an Iron Bull 14 foot, 14,000 pound dump trailer. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.